you know, I always encourage people to download my videos, share my videos. I don't mind if you make money, like advertising, etc. That's not not the problem for me. Hello. Hello. You are live on air, my friend. Go ahead. What do you want to say to us? No, actually, you are misrepresenting Jesus. Actually. Really? Okay. Yeah. Tell me, tell me about uh, Jesus. Do, do you know who is Jesus? Yeah. Who is, who, is, who is Jesus? He, Jesus was a prophet. Jesus was an Abdul servant of Allah. Ah, Abdul. Okay. Well, can you show me the name of Jesus in the Quran? No, he is Isa ibn Maryam. Okay, yeah. so how in the Quran he called him Isa? Who is Isa? Isa was a prophet. Okay, a but, prophet. But, uh, but the one we have, his name is Yeshua. How, how Yeshua became Isa? Yeshua is the Hebrew term. Okay, so this is Arabic name you mean? Isa means the salvation. So Isa means the salvation. So you are saying to me that the Quran saying that Jesus is the salvation. Yeah, Allah is using him so, to bring so, salvation. So, okay, so how Jesus is the salvation? He is the salvation. He is not. Just, he is the salvation. That's what you say to me. Hello. Hello. Are Hello? you there? Yeah. So you say that Isa is the salvation. How is that? Yeah, I was saying that Isa was the salvation only for Jews. Because mm. if you read Isaiah 53, mm. God said that uh, for salvation of my people, he will die. Mm. And in Isaiah 52... Okay, oh, hold on, hold on. He will, he will die? He will die? He will die? Yeah. Okay, so does the Quran say that Jesus died? The Quran says that they did not kill him. Hmm. Jews didn't kill Jesus. Jews, the, the Jews Allah, did not kill Jesus. Okay, what happened to Jesus? Allah killed Jesus and Allah deceived the Jews. Allah and deceived then, the Jews. Okay. So did Allah deceive the Jews or deceive the Christians? Christians were deceived by devil. Satan, but you are the one who said to me that Allah he deceived the Jews at that time. All the Jews, all the Christians are Jews, yeah, just like Allah deceived Pharaoh. Okay, Allah deceived the Jews. How, how Allah deceived Pharaoh? How Allah deceived Pharaoh? It's, it's splitting the but this is not this, this, is, this is not deception, this is a miracle. What this even say? Hey, hey, let's focus on Jesus now. So, Allah he made the Jews think that they killed Jesus, correct. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and you are the Jews one who used, and, and you are the one who used uh, the word deceived. But as you see, uh, uh, Allah He waited six hundred years to tell us that the one who died in the cross it was not Jesus, and you are the one who used Allah the word never, deceived. Allah never told that uh, that this salvation thing on the cross. I mean, this is complete. No, no problem. Don't God. don't go there. Don't go there. Don't change topic. See, you are the one who said to me that Jesus is salvation. This is your term, and this is your. Yeah, word. It, it, don't don't talk, yeah, don't talk. Yeah, just, yeah. Wait, just, just, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. Let me finish my my point. And then you are saying to us that Allah He deceived the Jews, but isn't it you who said to me? Just like Pharaoh. Just, hold on, isn't it you who said to me that Allah He sent Jesus to the Jews? Yeah. Okay. So Allah, if He sent Jesus to the Jews, He sent Jesus to these Jews to deceive them or to guide them? No, to deceive them because Jews planned. Planned against Jesus. So Allah he did not send Jesus to the Jews to guide them. He sent the Jesus to deceive the Jews. Allah sent all the prophets to guide the Jews, but because of the Jewish plans, Allah. Okay. So did his Allah send? Okay. Let us go. Let us go from zero. When Allah he sent Jesus to the Jews, did he send him to guide them or to deceive them? That's why I'm telling that the initial plan of Allah was. To guide the Jews, but okay. then later. Hold on. So, are you saying you to me? Are you saying to me monster. that Allah He was not aware that the Jews they will not be guided? He do not know. 
this is a human perspective of telling if you read no, this Genesis not, I'm, not I'm not talking about a human perspective. Time. No, no, don't don't go there. You are an Ahmadiyya, aren't you? No, 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 okay. I'm not. An so what do you think about the Ahmadiyya? Do you think he is a prophet? Ahmad Oh, they were, they are infidels. Okay, they hold are on. Not okay. And, and you are an infidel too, and we'll prove it in a second. Hold on. So when Allah, he sent Jesus to the Jews, don't he knew that the Jews will kill him or will try to kill him? Do he knew or not? Yeah. Okay. If you talk about his hyper okay. knowledge, then yeah. Jesus, he come with a book. It's called Injil. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. What the word Injil mean? Good news. In which language? Good news in Greek. Greek. So how also Jesus, he was sent to the Jews. Okay. How Jesus was sent to the Jews, but yet his book is in a Greek. Oh, uh, because Greek was one type of international language, like today's English, mm -hmm. and that's why. Okay, hold on. But your Quran says that Allah He never sent any prophet unless He speak the language of His people. Yeah, okay. Jews also spoke Greek. If you read Acts, Book okay. of Acts. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, 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 no. It says Bilisani Qaumihi. Bilisani Qaumihi is the language of the people, not languages they speak. It has to be their language, their tongue. And this is in chapter 14, verse number 4. Read it for us. Go ahead. Yeah, I'm telling that Jews spoke Greek. My friend, my friend, the Jews who they are living in Arabia, they, they speak a Greek? No, you have a misunderstanding. Okay, no, I'm asking you. Jesus. Okay, if Allah is... So did Allah send his book to the Greek or he sent it to the Jews? No, no. Jesus spoke in Aramaic, but later his apostles in Matthew. No problem. Matthew. Allah, did he send his book in Hebrew okay. or he sent it in a Greek language? In Greek. Okay, where, is, there was where no we can find the book. So guys, re remember this. Allah, he sent his book to the to the Jews in Greek language. Where you yeah, get this? The Injil, okay, the hold on, hold on. No, 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 my friend. Wait, wait, just wait, wait. It's not where we can find the reference for that? that Allah, he sent his book to the... No, no, we do not have any reference in the so Quran. So what are you are saying that to me? Where do you, you get this from? Where you get this from? We don't have like all reference in the Quran. No, 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 no. Don't, don't, don't. So where you give me your answer from? You, the answer have to come from somewhere, unless you are claiming to be God and you know everything. Yeah, yeah, where yeah, your yeah. answer no, is coming no, from? No, history, from history. No, history. I'm not God. Okay, which history? God which history you Muslims approve? Do you approve the history or you approve what Muhammad said? Because everything Muhammad he said is against history. As an example, let me ask you. What is the name of the grandfather of uh, uh, Isa in according to Islam? Grandfather of Isa. Jesus. Yeah. Imran. Imran. But isn't it this is the grand is, isn't it this is the father of Moses? Yeah, but there is a typology in the Quran like from Musa and Jesus. There's what? Type typology. Uh, you know that uh, Jesus, the sister of uh, Mary, the sister of okay, so, Aaron. So is 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 Jesus the? Uh, I, I I saw this in the commentary. All right, I'm asking you. Is is Moses is the uncle of Isa? No. Okay. So how how Mary she became the daughter of Amran, who is the father of Moses? This is a typology language. This is what. Even if Christian community, they use this type of type of. No, no, we don't have. We don't Roman. have. First of all, first of all, yeah, yeah, yeah. first of all, uh, Mary, Listen, she is not Roman even from the tribe. Mary, she is not even from the tribe of Moses. So how Mary, she became the sister of Aaron, and how the father name of Mary changed. As long you are a person who is familiar with the Bible, what is the name? What is the name of the mother, the father of Mary? What is the name? Hold on. You are the one who says to me, you have evidence from history. Okay, according to history. What is the father? Who is the father of Mary? Who is the father of Virgin Mary? Yes. Joachim. Okay. So who is Amran? You are the one who told me Amran. Isn't it you who said to me her father is Amran? This is, was, this is it, like in Roman Catholicism. Mary is called the What Roman sign. Catholicism? Don't, don't play games with me. There's, there's two fathers. Either father-in-law, like the woman she married, the one who the father of her husband, this is her father too, father-in-law. Or real father, so neither of them. His name is Omran. Omran in the Quran is the guy who is married to the mother of Mary. Do you agree? 
Jesus in the Bible, he said he's the son of David. He My was friend, not the don't go there. Son. What this is? What this have to do yeah, with yeah, our this topic? Is the same oh, logic. No, no, it's this is not the same logic. This is not the same logic. The name Jesus, Jesus the guy. Son. Listen, listen. Don't play games. Who is the one? Who is the one who slept with the mother of Jesus? Who is the one? No one. This was a miracle. No, 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 no. I'm not talking about who is the father of uh, Jesus now. I'm asking you. Who is the one who stepped with the mother of the mother of Jesus? Not, not, not Mary, the, her mother, the mother of Mary. Who is the one who stepped with her? Mother. Yeah. Saint Anne. Saint Annie and Saint My friend, Lord. who is the who is the one who is the husband of the mother of Jesus? Husband of the mother of Jesus. The mother of the mother of Jesus. The mother of the which means mother. the grandmother. Joachim. 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 Who? Okay, so. How how what what the Quran says? Who is the one who is married to the mother of the mother of Jesus? Quran doesn't say that. Like, like are you sure? You're confusing. Like Jesus was no, no. playing. Are you sure? I'm asking game. you. Are you sure? Say yes. Are you sure the Quran does not say that? Quran does not say. My friend, like what I, I, all, all what I'm asking you, are you sure? Either you say yes, I'm sure, or you say I am an ignorant. Please talk, teach me. What I know, which verse are you trying to tell? Me? I am not asking you either you say yes or I say no. So I'm asking you, according to the Quran, who is the husband of the mother of the mother of Jesus? Imran. So what you said to me, it doesn't say that. But because you misunderstood the concept, that's why. Hold I on, hold on. I asked you, who is the father of Mary? You said you were king, according to you, right? According to history, no, no, okay. According, so is that history correct? You are the one who says we learn from history. So, which one you approve, the Quran or the history? No, no, Imran was not the husband of Saint Annie or the father of Virgin Mary, it okay. was a typological language, okay, just like just claimed okay, he from, was the son from, of David. And from where you get uh, this, uh, in, like interpretation, my friend? This was, yeah, I, I read this in the commentary, I said in. Ibn Who Ibn Kathir? He said that. Give me the verse number so we can read. The commentary Ibn Kathir. Then all other commentaries. Okay. In no, the I'm asking you where in the commentary of Ibn Kathir it says what verse. Now I can't remember like you. I mean, I my friend. Here that. we are speaking of okay. reference. We don't speak without reference. Here we go. This is the Quran, and whoever said that to you is an idiot. Read with me carefully. Do you know how to read? Okay. Do you know how to read? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Read for me the verse. If you remember when the wife of Imran said, Oh my Lord, I have vowed okay. to you what is in my womb. She is who? She Jews. is the wife of Imran, correct? Yeah. Okay, so what is the wife of which in which language the wife of Amran does not mean the wife of Amran? In Semitic language. That is a stupid of you to say, my friend. It says the wife of Amran. That is, that's mean. It's not the wife of Amran. Jesus also said he was the Look at this, guys. David. The verse saying the wife of Amran. Okay, what if we go right now, me and you, and we read the interpretation of Ibn Kathir, and everybody will laugh that you are lying to us, and you said Ibn Kathir, he said that. Listen. Listen, 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 do. listen. I'm asking you. If we go right now to Ibn Kathir, are we going to find what you said, or you are a liar? But you know that don't tell me but don't but me don't but me I'm asking you if we go to Ibn Kathir my friend I'm speaking to you nicely if we go I'm to not Ibn, sure. uh, you well, a second ago you were sure I asked you where you said Ibn Kathir I asked you where you're this is from I just no 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 you so you are lying you are lying my friend you are everybody heard you saying you heard that from Ibn Kathir interpretation no this is not but misunderstanding you, know. you said that and this is Ibn Kathir and you are a liar you have to admit that you are a liar Logical liar. So it is a mistake in the Quran. Remember, you agreed. You are the one who agreed that there is no way that the father of uh, uh, the, the 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 Mary, the mother of Jesus, her father is Amran. Then you can you did explain you, did why? You agree, did you agree with that? Did you ag did you David. agree with that? Did you agree with that? Yes, you okay. agreed, right? Okay. Now the Quran yeah, yeah. and the interpretation confirm that the father of Mary is Amran. No. What do you mean now? This is Semitic language. This is okay, show me where it, here we go. This is Ibn Kathir. Show me where it says that. Jesus. Here we go. No, no. The wife, the wife of Amran. Listen carefully. This is Ibn Kathir. This is Ibn Kathir. 
This is Ibn Kathir, the one you are hiding behind his back. The wife of Amran mentioned here is the mother of Mary. I mean, how clear we can make it more? Yeah. Okay, so why are you lying? So it's not a Semitic language as you claim, as, as you lie to us. So she is the wife of Amran, and the father of Musa's is Amran too, correct? Yeah. Okay, here we explain then how Muhammad, he said that Mary is the sister. I am, the I, sis, I the sister listen, this. Mary is the sister of Aaron. So now the yeah, idea yeah. became clear. So Mary, she is the sister of Aaron because Aaron, his father, is Amran. Yeah. Okay. So I this mean, is the, so this is a mistake. In the, this is a mistake in the Quran. It's, it's obvious. No mistake in the Ibn Kathir, not in the Quran. My friend, the Quran saying this is the wife. She is the wife of Amran. The Quran saying that. What's wrong with you? But look at the Bible. My friend, the don't tell me look at the Bible. Don't look at the Bible. You, you, you Muslims, you don't have an idea about the Bible. You copy paste. Does the Quran say clearly with the clear words in Arabic? Why the Qalat Imra'atu Imran Imran Rabbi Imra'atu Imran Imra'atu Imran? Do you know Arabic? No, no. I okay. Don't, so what? Imra okay. In your language, whatever you have, what translation you are reading? English. Okay. What translation you read? English. I know. I, what the translation I, you read? What? Who is the translator? What, which translator you accept? Oh. A various translator Yusuf Ali or okay this is Yusuf Ali anyway as long as you are asking for Yusuf Ali this is Yusuf Ali have fun okay Yusuf Ali is saying let me be sure that this Yusuf Ali uh, this is Hali Khan actually let us go to Yusuf Ali just to be sure no that no you is... can do your translation I no 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 problem. no I will do it as you wish show me one one person agree with you otherwise you are lying to us just to cover the mistake in the Quran the horrible mistake in the Quran Yes, horrible mistake. You are the one saying that this is a that, that, so you agreed. You agreed. First of all, you it's you. You agreed that the father of Mary is not um, uh, no, uh, is that, not, the father of Mary you, is you not Amran. Listen, listen. Women of England. Listen. Did you agree with me it or not that the father of Mary, the real father of Mary, is not Amran? Did you agree with me or not? Yeah, I agree. Okay. So how the Quran here says that this is her father. His name is Amran. No, that look at the Yusuf Ali translation. It says, My that friend, this is Yusuf Ali translation. This is Yusuf Ali translation. It says, Behold, oh, the women of uh, of Imran, the women of Imran said, Oh, my lord, I dictate him to thee. It doesn't say that wife of Imran. It says that it says, The women of Imran, who is the women of Imran? My woman is my wife, my friend. Actually. You know the interpretation, my friend. I showed you the interpretation. Okay, this is my challenge to you. Show me one interpretation. I agree with your statement that Amran is not the father of Maryam, the mother of Jesus. Can you show me one interpretation? I agree with you. Challenge. You know what? I will shave my. I will shave. I will, I will shave my twenty foot beard if you can show me one interpretation. Do so. Say that. Yeah, it's a challenge. Here we go. No, 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 it's a challenge. Okay. Here we go. You are my hero. I showed you the first interpretation. You know what? Let I'm willing to show you. I'm willing to show you as many interpretation as you wish. What do you think about that? I will open for you an Islamic website. Have all the interpretation you can imagine in the Islamic library. Let me talk. Let me talk. No, you I have can... to give me interpretation. Agree with your lies. Yeah, Otherwise, yeah, you I... have to say I was lying to you. That doesn't say that. I'm fabricator. I fabricate things. Yeah. Okay. And this is a habit for us okay. as a Muslim. So either you say, either you say okay, okay, I'm fabricating, thanks. either you say I'm a fabricator like my prophet Muhammad, or you have to tell me the interpretation. Would you say because you are the one who mentioned that you did read okay. that in the interpretation of Ibn Kathir? We open Ibn Kathir, we could not find that. Ibn Kathir says clearly that this is the wife of Amran. Quran says that. Uh, give me, the... give me the interpretation. Stop playing games. What interpretation? What? Okay. In, what, what? What interpretation you want to give me, my friend? I, I have only one interpretation. Which one? About that. Which one? Which one? Which one? Of which one? Which one? Which one? Okay, where is the interpretation coming from? What is the name of the interpretation? No, there is no, interp there is no interpretation about. So you are lying to us. No, there is interpretation. Here but we go. All of them. Here we go. This is Tafsir al Jalalain. Read everybody and laugh at this guy, the liar, who he think he have knowledge, trying to cover the big mistake in the Quran. Because the Miriam, there's a true story, by the Actually, way. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Just to show you how stupid your, your, your prophet. 
your prophet he heard from the Jews that Aaron he have a sister her name is Miriam and this is correct in the Old Testament there is a woman her name is Miriam she is the sister of Moses and sister of Aaron so Muhammad the fool he thought that this is the same the same woman he thought that Miriam is the daughter of Omran and she is the sister of Aaron so he he, he attached Mary to Omran which is the father yeah. which is which you is the right. father of Moses at this point now read yeah, me, yeah. Read me. Point, this is right. a Jalalain this is a Jalalain listen 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 right at this point. okay I, I'm right at this point or not because in the seventh century, uh, sixth and seventh, my friend, century, don't Muslims tell me seven centuries. Died. I'm not talking about even the sister of Aaron. I'm talking about how Mary she became the daughter of Amron. In the front of you, this is Tafsir al Jalalain. Tafsir al Jalalain. From the, mentioning when from the wife. The, read, 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 read. This is a Jalalain. Yeah, the wife of Imran. Okay. The, yeah, the wife of Imran. Okay. okay now the wife of Amron. She is the mother of Jesus. Okay. I want to ask you how this mistake happened. How the father of uh, of Moses became the husband of the of the mother of Mary. Okay, okay. actually, uh, the apostles of Prophet Muhammad, mm -hmm. Salam, they denied the history that Mary, the father of Virgin Mary, was not Jehoiakim but Imran. They made up this history, so I have to. They made up history. So you are saying to me that the disciple of Muhammad, you are saying the apostle of Muhammad, they are a bunch of liars. You are saying? Maybe there is a bunch of hadiths about. Like apostles, but my friend, this is the Quran. What's wrong with you? It says, Imran. The one who is Allah is talking is not, it's not even Muhammad, supposedly. Allah is saying, The women of Imran, she said, The, the women of Imran, who is he? Who is she? She is the mother of Jesus, uh, of, of Maryam. So, why you keep saying to me, Maybe the disciple will lie? So, look what you did. You just agreed, you just agreed that Muhammad companion, they are a bunch of liars, and maybe they fabricate that in the hadith. But by doing that, you prove that this is absolutely false because Islam is false because the Quran is the one saying that, not the disciples of Muhammad. Actually, they misinterpreted the Quran. My friend, the Quran saying the women of Imran, you give me an interpretation. It says the women of Imran. Since when, if somebody says the women of Imran, he didn't mean that she is the women of Imran. The guy, he cannot have kids. The story is there. And his wife, she said, I'm going to designate this child will come to me to be for you God who is the one who did that the women of Amran you tell me what does that mean the same thing it, it is a Semitic language that Jesus said the son of David my friend this son of the, David the son, of, son of David my friend because by birth Jesus he goes all the way to David Mary she have nothing to do with Musa she is not going all the way to David they are from different tribe even in this case, it doesn't work. Didn't you read that? They are not, they are not from the same in gospel of Luke? Listen, they are not gospel from the same Luke? tribe. Listen, listen, I'm going to give you a chance. So this is a mistake. I'm going to ask you. Yeah. Can you give me one thing to prove to me it's time to be true? Yeah, the prophecy of Prophet Muhammad. Like what? This is the biggest. The I mean, in Surah 7, verse 157, it claims that Prophet Muhammad is mentioned in the Torah and Injil. This is the prophecy of Muhammad? Chap I mean the prophecy about Prophet chapter Muhammad. No, no, no. Um, give me, give me. First of all, that is a funny of you to say because the Quran says that uh, the, uh, Jesus will say, Isa will say, there's a prophet who comes after me. His name is Ahmed, correct? Yeah. Okay, what is the name of your prophet? I'm not referring to that because the, we know that Injil was fabricated. You, what is the name so, of your prophet? What is the name of your prophet? Muhammad Ahmad. So his name oh. is Muhammad or Ahmad? Is Ahmad is a name or a title? Is Muhammad a name or a title? Name and also title. Okay, so how we have many names? What does that mean? Did his mom she call him Ahmad or call him Muhammad? Both. We do not call him actually Ahmad. Uh -huh. but so Muhammad. why he is he saying that he why he called him Ahmad? What does that mean? To relate to that Paracletos. Like Paracletos in the John Paracletos is a spirit. Is Muhammad a spirit? The Paracletos will stay with us forever. He will never die. And he is a spirit. Is your prophet a spirit? Yeah, Prophet Muhammad spirit. Spirits don't die. Spirit. They either go to heaven or so hell. Muhammad is a spirit. He is not a human. He's a spirit and also a flesh. Huh? Okay, so the there it says that this is a Ruhul Qudus. He is the spirit. 
and then are you saying to me that Muhammad is the Holy Spirit? No, he is not the Holy Spirit. Well, you are quoting Holy for Spirit. me a verse saying this is the it's Holy Spirit because the, because they are the verses you are quoting for me is about the Holy Spirit. So it have to be holy. It have to be spirit. Now is your prophet holy? Yes. How then come? He's Holy Spirit. Then how he come? Okay, I want you to read this Holy for me. Then okay, hold on. As long as the Prophet Muhammad is holy, how come the Quran says, "May Allah forgive your past sin and the one to come"? Yeah. Okay. What do you mean, yeah? How Allah will forgive the past sin of somebody who have no sinner, no, no sin? You just said he is not a sinner. Is he a sinner? No, I didn't say once is, that. Is he a sinner or he is not? Is he a sinner or not? Yeah, he's kind of so how you call him holy? Like I mean how you are a sinner and you are holy. I mean are you crazy people? The second you call him holy, it's mean he have no sin Sin sinner doesn't mean that he has to be unholy all the time because ah, so Muhammad temporarily him. holy Muhammad is sometime holy sometime filthy He was a man he so why he you call him holy because Allah forgave. But what do you mean forgive? Mercy. But it says in the past and the one in the, it doesn't say even Allah, it says forgive. It says may Allah forgive. How Allah is God? He says me. Secondly, it says the one in the past and the one to come. So how he is holy, but he would do a, he did in the past and he would do to come. Prophet Muhammad suffered in his life very severely. This is not the question. I suffered too. I suffered too, my friend. Punishment was what this had, what does have to do with my topic? All people suffer. Have you ever heard a human being don't suffer? Stop playing playing games. I'm asking you now. How he is holy, yet he commits sin in the past, and he will commit okay. sin in the future. That, so, Christian concept of holy is sinless. That is Jesus. But in most Islamic concepts, all the prophets were holy. So is so Allah holy? It. Is Allah holy the same as Muhammad? He is sometimes no, 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 no. No, no. Then you cannot use the word holy. Yeah, I can. Choose, okay, can you show me one 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 statement in the Quran where it says Muhammad was holy? No, I'm not a Hafiz, but I am sure there is. No, there is not. I'm, and here we go. I just showed you this, the opposite. Yeah. It says okay. Listen, listen. Is. I'm going to go back to zero. Oh, what okay. you said to me, it turned to be false and stupid, and people are laughing. So I'm going to give you a chance. I will repeat my question. Can you give me something, one thing, prove that Allah is God and Muhammad is a prophet? Anything, choose of your, choose the best. Can you prove to me in any way? Yeah, I can give you many. Give me one, give me one for now. Give me one, one by one. <laughs> like in Isaiah 42. Uh, don't give me the Bible. The, the, do, you, do you Muslims agree with the Bible? Yeah, some part I have to agree. Oh, uh, sometime. Okay, what Isaiah said? What Isaiah? Isaiah 42. Isaiah prophesied about Prophet Muhammad. So Isaiah 42? Okay. Uh, what, what Isaiah 42 is saying? Read for us. Uh, uh, okay, read for us Isaiah 42. What Isaiah 42 says? Here is my servant whom I uphold, my chosen one hmm. in whom I delight. Hmm. I will put my spirit on him and he will bring justice to the nations. Hmm. So he, in the first two verses, no, read, read, says, read, continue, please. continue reading because you will see that people will laugh at you in two seconds. Read, continue reading. Yeah. Or only, or those only the only two verses you copy from the website. Okay. He will not shout or cry out or raise his okay. voice. Okay. Did Muhammad shout face. Allahu Akbar and when he attack his enemies? Yeah. Okay. But that doesn't. Mean All right. Continue. That. Continue the verse after it. A bruised reed. He will not break. And a smoldering wick, okay. he will did not Muhammad, slough did, out. Did Muhammad cut a trees and burn them? But he saved also. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. See, we are going, but you are saying this one is about him, right? Okay, yeah, yeah. First yeah. of all, first of all, first, first, of, first of all, first, first of all, first of all, first, first of all, do you agree that Muhammad burned trees and cut trees of those who he hate? Yes or no? For cooking, yes, obviously. Not for, for cooking. cooking. What cooking? What this? What, what this cooking? What does this have to do with cooking? He is just doing that as revenge. Yes or no? Yes, he used trees. No, read power. carefully. Ibn Umar narrated the messenger of Allah burned the palm trees of Bani Nudair and he cut it down. The verse you quote for me, it says he will not even cut a branch of a tree, correct? Yeah. All right. 
You have to understand this is prophetic, but this is versus not no problem, no problem. Okay, now the prophet, no, the, I am highlighting. Hold, hold on, you are highlighting for me how 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 silly it is. Yeah. Now let me ask you: in Isaiah number forty-two, does it say uh, something about the spirit? Yeah. Okay. Do Allah have a spirit? I will, I will put my spirit on him. Okay. Do Allah have a spirit? Yes. Obviously. Where where you get this from? Where Allah, the spirit is Allah, eternal. Allah has, no, is, Allah has no spirit. Allah is not a spirit, and He has no spirit. Don't you know that? Yeah, Allah has a spirit. Where do you get this from? You know what? I will shave my 100 foot beard. It's growing now. If you can show me one Islamic scholar or teaching, I agree with you that Allah has a spirit. That's why Allah breathed that spirit. Don't tell Adam. me. Don't tell me that's why. Show me where you get this from. Show me where Allah. Where you get this from that Allah has a spirit according as I know any Muslim who believe that Allah has a spirit is not a Muslim Yeah, obviously Allah has a spirit where obviously you are saying to me obviously where you get this from In the Quran Everywhere it says that show me Allah one. has a spirit. show me one where it and says Allah has a spirit. a spirit No problem. No problem. See, I'm, not, I'm not against you my friend. I'm just uh, trying to to uh, 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 To learn from you how you Muslims understand yeah, your false I, God? I remember okay. so, in Surah Insan, it says that Allah breathed his spirit to Adam. Thank you very much. And also, guys, Allah, he breathed. Uh, okay. Allah, he breathed his spirit into Adam. Did you say that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now, this let is me ask you, so how you Muslim, you say that Allah has no spirit? If For I show sure, you right yeah. now, if I show you yeah. that all Muslims agree, that Allah has no spirit and he is not a spirit what you would do no there is a difference between Allah is a spirit and Allah has no spirit okay so I'm asking you no Allah has no spirit neither he is a spirit this is what I'm saying both of them the Quran is saying that Allah breathed his spirit well this is this is not this is what Islam teaching Allah Islam is, is a book of contradiction that's what I'm saying so do Allah has a spirit or not no actually you are separating my Allah friend, I am not like separating. Here we go. This is your Islamic fatwa website. Fatwa number five zero seven seven four. It says he Look, he Islamic is debating. Listen, 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 listen. Can. He is debating with the Christians, asking, "Does God have a spirit?" Oh, okay. Now I get it. Okay. So now what, I get it. What the because answer? Because they try to deny, like, like this complexity in the Quran Tawheed. Okay, let That's me ask right. you. So Allah, he has a spirit. Is Allah one or two now? One. Okay, how he's one, but he have a spirit. Allah is the same as the spirit or the so spirit is different person? We are not, because we are not separating the spirit from Allah. No spirit problem. Is so, inside of but, but you said Allah, he has a spirit. That's mean it's additional to Allah. So Allah and his spirit, correct? Or Allah is a spirit? Allah and his spirit. Okay. That's why it is there for you. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, guys. Did you hear this? This is very important. What this uh, 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 gentleman said. He said Allah and it's his. Plainly in the Quran. Let you me, didn't me, uh, read any translation. This is in the Quran. Let me explain. Let me explain what, all what, over what, in the let Quran. Let me explain what you said. Allah. Let us type in uh, in different colors so people can see in the screen, and you then you explain to us more. So because people they are really happy from what you are saying, especially me. I'm very happy with you. Thank you for calling me. So Allah and His Spirit. This is what you said. Do you agree? Oh, you are highlighting that and like they are two separate beings. My like, friend. Don't, okay. Don't do that. Then, then is Allah is a, is Allah is a spirit? You said no. No. Okay. So that's mean it's two. As long as you are saying Allah is not the spirit, that's mean Allah and His spirit. Like I have, a, I have a spirit. That doesn't mean I. My friend, don't stop playing I, games. Okay, I just say to you: either you say yes, yes, or no, no. Is Allah is a spirit? Yes or no? Yeah. Yes. He's a spirit. Yeah, that's what the Quran says, and also in Isaiah. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. A second ago, you said to me, Allah is not a spirit. What happened? Allah is not a spirit. Allah has. Okay, a so Allah, He is not a spirit. Allah, He has a spirit. As long it's yeah. not Allah is not a spirit, so we cannot consider them one. They have to be two percent at least. Yeah, 
maybe one God, yes, but not one person because you are the one no, who we said do to not me, highlight that persons like two persons. Okay, two when persons, you say Allah, Allah, He has a spirit, and I asked you, you said Allah is yeah, not yeah. that spirit. Yes. Allah is not Allah that is spirit. Not. So, how many person we have? I do not actually. I do not want to go to that person who like. Why you don't go? Shit. How come you want to go to Christianity about it's Allah being shit. one? Oh, no, no, don't, 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 don't play games. So is Allah is the same spirit? You said no. So now we have a spirit, and we have Allah. Are they one person or two person? I do not understand this person. Why are you bringing that person? You are the one who wrote it. I asked you because you mentioned person. Isaiah. Isaiah says that God is spirit. God is spirit. Listen, okay. okay, so God Listen, is spirit. Is I, this is why God I ask you? Do your God, Allah, has a spirit. You said uh, He has a spirit, but yes. He is not a spirit. My God, Listen, my God is a spirit. My God is a spirit. So, so listen, listen. So when you Muslim, you copy the Bible and you are claiming that you have knowledge in the Bible. Did you ever no see? Let me ask you: Bible. Have you ever yes. heard? Have you ever heard of verses in the Bible saying that God is a spirit? Yeah, John four twenty four. I know. Okay, that. God is a spirit. So how Allah is not a spirit? So obviously the God of the Bible is not the same as the God of Islam. I do not believe that. The this is not a You are right? the one who's quoting for me the Bible. As long as you are quoting the Bible, you have to believe in I what in the Bible. Me. Okay. So I am not quoting. Okay, let us go. No. So what you are saying to me, Isaiah, speaking about him, you quote for me a verse. You believe in it? Did you believe in it? You said you believe in something. Agree. So Isaiah forty-two it says God, spirit. Yeah, yeah. This I'll is the, my spirit. okay. So this is the he spirit said, of God. This is God Himself. If you go from the book of Gen from the beginning, it says God He created the whole earth and the heaven. And then what happened? That God he, His spirit was above the water, above the surface. So look, Allah, God, uh, your God Allah, your God Allah is not a spirit, and He, according to you, He have a spirit. But Muslims they say no, which is absolutely you have a different religion now. I don't Which know what Muslims say that Allah doesn't have his spirit. Here we go. He's Here, we go. The Here we go. Here we go. I'm not the one who's making things up. Here we go. It says that the spirit is or a soul is not one of the attribute of Allah. Rather, it is one of the things that have been created by Allah. Do you see it? No, it, then if this fatwa is actually not true because Allah cannot okay, show me a Adam fatwa, agree, show, okay be. show me one Muslim in the world agree with you that Allah has a spirit because we Muslims do not talk about this not kind only of because no you talk you talk no you talk you have tons of books and you, you know the al Khomeini he says the Muslim Sunni they have the biggest library of bathroom because all of your books speaking about the the, the, the right. private part and down so listen I want you to don't tell me we don't have you don't talk you know you talk I can you show me one person in the whole Islamic cult agree with you that Allah has a spirit? Okay, every Muslims will agree with me if there is no Christian because if we say in front of no, Christians, you Muslim don't like, agree with the Muslim. Allah I'm not asking you agree with the Christian now. I'm asking you if there is one Muslim what agree with you me? as a Muslim, you 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 yeah. as a Muslim. Yeah. If there is one Muslim yeah. agree yeah. with you as a Muslim that Allah has a spirit, can you show me the name of the scholar? Everyone will agree with me because, but they will not. Nobody agree with you. You are a liar. So you are saying to me that the Muslims don't agree. They, they okay, agree with no, you, but they, they will not agree in front of a Christian because <laughs> ah, a Christian they will. Be Muslims have Muslims have two faces. In front of me, they will not agree, but in in the backyard they will agree. So you are a bunch of liars then. This is not lying. This is taqiyya. You know nothing ah, about. Ah, taqiyya. What taqiyya? Explain to me. What is taqiyya? Like we can tell lies. Okay, so you are lying about okay, guys. Listen carefully. So, you are saying to me, you as a Muslim, you are allowed to lie about your God to me as a Christian. You lie about your God. So, you say to me, He have a He has a spirit. Lie about yeah, you are lying to me. You said you lie, you are allowed to lie to me. You are allowed to lie to me about your God. I'm asking about your God. Like, if you just uh, if you just take and put a hidden camera in a mosque and then uh, send a Muslim to ask about the spirit of Allah, yeah, they will explain this very plainly. But in front of Christians, we do not use this type of terms. That's why Muslims, okay. they so have in the to mosque, deny. So you are saying to me that we Muslims, we have double standard, two faces. 
not double standard. The, you are completely misunderstanding. My friend, aren't you the one who said to me we lie? Okay, listen. Aren't you the one who says to me we use taqiyya and we lie? We are allowed to lie. Did you say that word or me? Paul also used taqiyya. Okay, you are criticizing I'm asking you, Paul. did you say we are allowed to lie? Did you say that or I'm, I'm, I'm making things up? Yeah, this is okay. all over so the Quran. You are I lying guess. to me all over the Quran, guys. Did you say it all over the Quran? So you are saying to me that we Muslims, when we talk to each other, we have different answers from the one we give it to the Christians because when we talk to the Christians, we lie to them, correct? Yeah, but this doesn't consider as a lie. Ah, okay, no problem, guys. He religion. lied to us, but this is not considered as a lie because Allah, he encouraged them to lie to us. I mean, do you see how amazing this religion is? So Allah, he encouraged the Muslim to lie to Christians this when the... Not when my a, point. When a Christian, my point is, I said... For no, listen, listen, listen. Muhammad. So you, you just said that when I ask you about Islam, you are allowed to lie to me because Allah encouraged you to lie to me because it's not considered to you as a lie. This but yet you are lying. lying. This is not lying. In my religion, this is not lying. My, my friend, but you are the one who says to me, we are allowed to lie. So you are saying, according to Allah, is not a lie to lie, correct? Yeah, obviously. Okay, thank you. you, know you from the hear this. Thank you very I'm much. I'm not making this up. Okay, so so now any question I ask you, you're allowed to lie to me when you give me the answer. I'm not lying to you now. No, no, no. no. How I know you are you are the one who just said to me, we are Muslims, we are we are allowed to do this to you, and Allah does not even consider it as a lie. What you what he allow he allowed to lie. So you are saying to me obviously we have to establish the truth. <laughs> Okay, Obviously. but how you can establish the truth if you just said to me that we Muslims we are allowed to lie to we the Christians? Will use plain, we will use plain language, but like there is only one. This God, is not what you say. No, you said to me. Yes. No, you said to me. You know, we are allowed to lie, and we, this is why the Muslims. Yeah, they we not are allowed to lie. Okay. If you, if so, you just do so not, now, if I ask you, okay, yes, if, if I ask you, if I ask you any question about your God, and I'm asking you about your God, you are allowed to lie to me. So how we will find the truth? I'm not lying to you. Okay, you know you it. did. You did. You did. You said to me that Allah has a spirit. I said to you, they give me one Muslim and agree with you. You said to me that uh, uh, they will the not. Quran agrees with me. Huh? The, our prophet agrees with us. The Quran agrees with me. The Quran. Agree, okay. Okay. So, uh, but you said Allah has a has a spirit, but he is not a spirit. Correct. Yeah. Okay. Allah so I ask you. Being. So listen, listen. So is Allah is a being and the spirit is a being, or it is one being? No, 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 no. one being. Okay, but I, but I asked you, is Allah is a spirit? You said no. Yeah. So how he can be one being if he is not the spirit? Because if he is the spirit, how can he sent the spirit? How can he breathe that spirit? Okay, guys, he, if he is the spirit, how you answer me, don't tell me, don't ask me the question. I'm asking you if you are saying to me, Allah has the spirit and Allah is not the spirit. Okay, so is the spirit created? Is the spirit of Allah created? Allah can create that spirit. And this is not the question. This is not the question. The spirit of Allah. No, no, spirit. The Quran doesn't say anything that I'm asking you, 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 it's your belief, it's your religion. No, you no, no, this would be a blasphemy to say that to say what spirit is created. Okay, so the spirit of Allah isn't created. Is Allah created? No, okay, Allah so now we have so now we have two it? and a created, so we have two and a created being, and the spirit is not Allah, and Allah is not the is spirit. It? As long as Allah exists. The spirit exists. This so is not the question. This spirit. is not the question. Are they both created or they are not created? You are saying no. No, 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 no. Eternal. They are the spirit and Allah. Okay. Allah's so now let us, Allah. let us let us do this. We have Allah is not a created Allah. Let us yes. let us let us, let us uh, type it here in the screen so people they will follow with us. So Allah plus the spirit. Anything else is not a created why are, Islam. Why are you writing plus? Because they are not one person. You are the one who said to me. Why? I, I asked you, is Allah the spirit? You said no. You should write capital S. This is an insult to the spirit. You later, you can change it, fix it for me. For now. So if there is anything else beside Allah and the spirit are not created. Yeah. What is that? No, we do not think like that. I'm asking you if there is something else beside Allah and the Spirit are not created. What? Is that the Quran? What about the Quran? 
Quran is eternal and it Thank is you very preserved much. in the of food. Quran is not a creator. So look what we have now. We have a three. Three separated, and yet they are not created. How that can be? Allah, the Spirit, and His Word. They are not one. Not only Quran, but also the Torah. The no word, problem. The okay, the word, word, of, the word Allah. of Allah. The word of Allah, no problem. The word of Allah. Okay. The word of Allah is not a creator. Do you agree? Yeah. Okay. Isn't it Jesus the word of Allah? Yeah, but he... Okay, but you just I said mean, the word of Allah is the creator. Everybody heard you. No, but you are misrepresenting My the friend, word of isn't Jesus. It you? No, isn't it you who said to me the word of Allah is not the creator? Did you say that? Or no, what? no. Jesus was not the word of Allah. He is a word of Allah. No, my friend. No, he is the word of Allah. I read in the Quran. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So you are saying to me he is a word, he is not the word? Yes. Okay, but isn't it the word of Allah is the word of Allah anyway? Yeah. Okay, so Jesus is the word of Allah anyway. Is not a created. Jesus was created by the word. Hold on. No, he was the word. He wasn't created by the word. He is the word. How he is created by the word. Where it says that? It says that the Messiah is the word of God, which bestowed in Mary, and he is a messenger, and he is a spirit proceeding from him. And you are the one who said to me, you like uh, Yusuf Ali translation. So he is the word of God before he became a man, correct? Yeah, before okay. Jesus' body is so not. When Jesus was the word of God, he was created or not? There is no such thing as a concept that Jesus was eternal. This Quran is not the question. Says this is not the question. Was Jesus was the word. At only. that moment, who created the word? No one created the word. So, the word is so eternal. Allah, so Allah cannot be the one who created Jesus because that word was Jesus. The Quran says so. But we Muslims do not don't believe tell me that because the don't Quran... Don't me. Listen, he was the word and you agreed. And you agreed too that the word of Allah never been created. So Jesus was the word. So he is exist by himself. Have nothing to do with Allah. So Jesus previously for his appearance Jesus, to us... Jesus came in the womb of Mary. No problem. This is when he is born as a human being. But before he became a human, he was what? He was the word. Do you agree? The word of the word of Allah. Yeah. Thank you very much. And you agree that the word of Allah is not created. Do you agree? Yeah, the Quran doesn't so say that the, the Messiah word of Allah was is was the any created before he listen, was you born. Are now look listen, at this. Okay, let, 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 but focus me. So Allah plus the Spirit plus the Quran. Three of them. Three are not created. Who is the oh, one? No, not Quran. The word. The word. No problem, word. The, guys. The word. The word. Okay. So Allah. I will change it for you just to make you happy okay Allah and the word are and the spirit of Allah are not created do you agree not with that singular not plural you are using plural pronoun doesn't matter Allah and the spirit and the word are not created yes okay so they are equal are they equal in what sense because they are not created yeah, they are equal in creation, like in the creation of Adam, it was both the word of God no, 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 and no, no, the spirit no, no. of God. The word itself yeah, is yeah. not created. The word of, uh, itself is no, not no, created. No, no, the word itself is not created. The word itself is the creator of Adam. Thank uh, you. Luke, when so Allah the creator of that, Adam is the word, is not Allah? Yeah, Allah, word and spirit. I okay. like, but you Allah cannot is understand not the this one, concept. Okay, but Allah is not the one who created the word, correct? No, okay. The word so is eternal. The creator, you just said, and very important thing, you just said that the creator, we will put the letter C next to it, is the word, not Allah, because the creation happened by the word, not by Allah. And the word itself is not created by Allah. So the word itself is God by itself, for it can create and do not need neither the spirit of Allah or Allah Himself. 
we do not say the word is God. We say the word. I don't is care God. what you say, but your philosophy proving that because as long you are saying to me that the world is exists by itself and never been created, that's mean there's Allah or there's no Allah. It doesn't matter. The word itself is God. For God is the word, and the word is God. Who is the one who created Adam? You said to me, the word. Okay. Who created Not only the, word? the word? Allah, the word, Allah through his word and spirit. My friend, how you say how you say his word when the word is not from him, is not created by him? How this is his word? Allah's word. Okay, but how this is his word if it's not created by him? No, I'm not saying uh, the word is created by Allah. It okay, exists. This is what I'm saying. Within if this Allah, is not the word the of, being Allah, of Allah, okay. If this word is not created by Allah, so how you say his? Because the word belongs to Allah. How it belongs to Allah if it's not created by Allah? Because everything is created by the word. Allah cannot create This is not a question. The, the word itself is not created by Allah. Cannot, our, our friend, focus, Allah, focus. Allah, breathe, breathe. breathe. Okay, if you say to me, let us say, let us make it something physical, okay? If you say my phone, you say my phone, okay? And this yeah. phone is not made by me, okay? If I ask you now, is this word owned by Allah as a property or it is independent and it exists by itself? Is it owned by Allah? No, we do not say that. Thank owned you. By Allah. So it's not say owned it by it. Allah. Guys, take one. It's not owned by Allah. Okay, is it created by Allah? No. So Allah has nothing to do with it. Yeah, obviously. Listen, as long as Allah friend, exists, you just the said it's not owned by Allah. It is not created by Allah. So what it have to do with Allah? Nothing. You are actually just uh, you are going too deep and philosophy. Uh -huh. actually, so Islam is a stupid cult. The second you go deep, Islam go. Go mult, Islam. Go, go, go bold. Lose all the hair why? and get naked. This is that. why you are trying to get away from it. So the second we go deep in Islam, we find Islam is a stupid. Now we can, because now we have a three divine. We have the word which is not created. We have the spirit which is not created, and we have Allah which is not created. So you yeah. Muslims, you believe in the Trinity? Allah, listen, okay. Allah now listen. Don't tell me. Listen. Listen. How you say earth. three and a created, but the, you are claiming that you worship one God, and the one who created you is the word, not even Allah. So you should worship the word. How can you worship the word? Well, is I it mean, the one? Is it the word? Okay. Oh, hold, hold on. Is it the, uh, let the me, word? Let me explain to you how you can worship the word. Because according to your logic, that the one who created everything is the word. That's mean Allah is not the creator. And the word itself is not created by Allah. So Allah is just individual, exists by himself, no problem. The spirit exists by itself, no problem. And the word exists by itself, no problem. But the only one who created anything, according to your belief, is the word. You can, okay, if you worship, if you want to worship the word, you are actually worshiping Allah. Okay, my friend, I, 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 I cannot stay longer. Okay, you can call me maybe next time, you're welcome. Uh, but as you see, guys, this is how silly this cult. But this gentleman, he said many things important that Muslims, we are allowed to lie to you. And this is why you Christian, you should be very careful when you listen to Muslims. The, the, he said clearly, with a clear word, I hope everybody will cut this conversation and put it everywhere, that we Muslims are allowed to lie to you, and this is not considered Islam as a lie. So everything he says to me now, it's possible to be just a lie trying to defend, because he just said that. And now we, when we got deep, he don't want to go deep. Why? Because deep will in, will in, like will show you right away how silly this cult. As long as you don't go in details, it's fine. It's okay. You know, Allah is God. But if you go in details, you will see that Allah is no one. He did not even create his words. And the word is the one who is the creator. And Allah, according to him, he is a spirit. But by the way, according to Islam, Allah has no spirit. This is a lie. So this is either a mistake from him or a lie. Either it's a lie to defend just to make Isaiah look fit with Muhammad, just to make it a propaganda thing. Or he is telling the truth, and that's mean he believes truly that Allah has, has a spirit. But either way, that is will be proving Islam to be false. Look, because now we have a three uncreated divine, eternal. What is the eternal mean? The one is exist by itself. Those are exist by themselves. Allah plus the spirit plus the word. Where the word is coming from? Not from Allah. Where the spirit is coming from? Not from Allah. Neither of them is coming from anyone. 
That's mean they are three separated divine, not one. Not like in Christianity, we say three person, one God. In Islam, they have a three person and they are totally separated. So when a Muslim, he says that the word is the word of Allah, that is a stupid to say, because as you see, the word has nothing to do with Allah. It's not created by Allah. It exists before, without Allah exists, or is it, Allah exists or not, the word is, is there. So how you say this is the word of Allah? So it's very easy to prove Islam to be funny and a stupid cult. Just ask some deep questions. And you know, I was trying to give him a chance uh, uh, to give me one, you know what? I'm going to give you one, one more call because I have to go. You know, I have things to do. But maybe I will give him one more call because each time I say to him, can you give me one thing to prove Muhammad to be a prophet? Look what he do. He go and say, I will show you from Isaiah. I will show you, uh, G, uh, the Quran says, uh, Jesus said. Should I call him maybe or, or leave it for tomorrow? Maybe maybe tomorrow. You can call me tomorrow, Mr. Khan. As long as you are here, subscribe to our channel. And maybe you can think about something very powerful next time you call me. And show me one proof that Muhammad is a prophet of God. But you know what? I'm going to give you one more chance. I will call you. I can't resist the temptation. <clears throat> Khan. Hello. Yeah, my friend, I don't have really much time left to talk to you, but I want to ask you one more thing just to give you a chance to prove to me it's time to be true. Can you give me one thing, prove to those Christians? Mute you too, please. Mute you too. Okay, okay. Yeah. I did. Can you give me one thing, solid, something solid? Have nothing to do with the Christians say, the Bible says, something have to do with Islam. How you can prove to me that Allah is God or Muhammad is a prophet? Choose anything, but choose something very strong. The scientific miracles in the Quran. Like what? Give me one. Like Quran mentions the Big Bang. Where, where in the Big Bang it says in the Quran? In Surah Anbiya chapter 30. Okay, read it for us, please. Okay, wait. Like, like this is undisputable. You can deny that. Mm, no problem. Nobody can deny it. Correct, yeah. So guys, Mr. Khan, he is going to show us the Big Bang in the Quran. I have it in the screen. You can look at the yeah. screen. Okay. Okay. Can I read it? Go ahead. I have not those who disbelieve known that the heavens and earth were joined together as one united piece, hmm. and then we parted them. Hmm. Here's the big man, and when we have what, made what is, water, what is, well, how, how is that? Is the big man? I don't understand. What is the big man said? Like all matter were joined together. No, in one no it doesn't say that. No, point. it doesn't say that. No, it says that nothing was there. The big man exploded, ha explosion yeah, happened, but there's nothing. There was no earth, there was no heaven, correct? No, this is poetic. So I'm asking you, I'm asking earth. you. When, before the Big Bang, there was there was a sky and a space and Earth, or no? No, no, nothing, okay. nothing, nothing. But here it says the opposite. It says here, don't the believers, don't the disbelievers know or see actually? Alam Yara in Arabic it says Yara. Don't they see that the heaven and the earth were joined together? So there was heaven and there was earth, and Allah He separated them from each other. Yes. Okay, but this is stupid because this is we are not separated from the heaven. We are inside the heaven. Isn't it the earth is swimming in the space like a dust? No, Quran is saying that the earth and heaven, these two are separated. My friend, there was there was earth and there was heaven. The verse is so clear, and we can show you the interpretation of Ibn Kathir if you want. So there was earth and there was heaven. And then Allah, he left up the heaven from the earth. That's what it says. Do you agree with that or you agree with the Big Bang? No, I agree with Big Bang. But this is against the Big Bang because it says there is earth and there is heaven and Allah, he left up the heaven. Don't you know that the Quran says that Allah, he made the yeah, sky? Allah say, yeah, Allah created in six periods and then Allah ascended up what, to heaven. What six period? Where, where in the Quran six period? I mean six periods or six days 
if you no, it that. says six days. Now let us see. Does it say? Uh, does it say in the chapter fifty-two that Allah He left up the sky? He left yeah, up yeah, the sky. Yeah, I know that. Okay, Allah left the sky up from where? From the earth. Okay, that's mean the earth and the sky. They were attached together and Allah separated them. Is that accurate? Yeah. How is that accurate? We are inside the yeah, space. Yeah, this is what the what you the heavens mean? and the earth. What do you mean? No, we're joined together. Okay, but you see, but this is not what the Big Bang saying. The Big Bang saying that we are now. According to this is a theory, by the way. The Big Bang is not a scientific fact; it's a theory, and we as a Christian are rejected. Yeah. Only for uh, uh, if you if you if I ask you right now, which one Allah created first, the Earth or the sky? He created simultaneously everything. Where it says that? Like, <clears throat> that verse it says that Allah created those two were joined together and not separated. No, where it's no, this it doesn't say it's, it's at the same time. It says this is about separating them. Where it's mentioned the creation, which one created first? Well, I do not remember that verse, but it says that Allah created on the first day, like you have. Which which uh, which, was, which verse which verse where I do not remember that verse. I okay, let me ask remember, you. But I read According to the Big Bang, the stars was a crea uh, created before the Earth, or the Earth be long after the stars. No, the stars were created before, like some billions years before the Earth. Okay, so Earth came from the sun. That's wonderful. So, guys, the stars came long after. I mean, the the, the Earth came long after the stars. You agree on that? According to yeah. you, okay. Yeah, the Big Bang says that. All right. Okay. Thank you. So here in the chapter forty-one, it says that the last thing Allah created after He finished the whole Earth, it was the stars. Where? Chapter forty-one. Read with me. You can read it from verse number nine. The first thing He created, He created the Earth in two days, and then He placed in the top of them, the top of the Earth, rising mountains. And then he put in the in the earth all the sustenance, which means the water, the grass, the trees. And then after that, then after that, he turned to the heaven. And then it was a smoke. There was nothing, empty. And then, verse number twelve, he made the heaven seven skies, and he put lamps in those skies. So you are the one who's coming to me with the big bang, but according to Allah, the first to create it was the earth. And the last to create is the stars. What do you think? No, actually, the modern Muslims ap apologists they explain that Earth is not the Earth in the Quran. It is the matter. Ah, like matter. It's not. No, it is the Earth and the Quran, my friend. Here we go. You see, I got I got something more powerful than your apost. That was those who they are explaining to you, the liars who they are making articles these days. Because your Quran, your, your prophet, he spoke about that. Here we go. Not only you said to me six period of time, right? Is, is it six period or six days? Yeah, yeah. Is it six? I believe it is six periods. Okay, so six days. Is, is six days is wrong? Is six days is wrong? Yeah, six days. Is, is like six days is wrong? Days. It's wrong. Okay, so guys, six days is wrong. Here we go. This is your prophet saying, Allah no, excited. can mean. Huh? Periods also. No, no, no. This no, 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 no. You said six days is wrong. You already you said that. Allah the excited the grace, he created the clay on Saturday, and he created the mountains on Sunday. Huh? Okay. No, 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 okay. Go on. Okay. I know this. So what is the first thing Allah created? It was the clay. And then he created the mountains. And this is exactly what it says in the Quran. He created the earth in two days, and he put the mountains. And then he created whatever trees, etc. Read with me carefully. And then he says he created uh, the entire labor in Tuesday, created the light in Wednesday, and he caused the animals to spread in Tuesday. And he created Adam in a Friday afternoon. Not only it's a Friday, it's afternoon. Yeah, I know this. I know this hadith. And okay, do you, I saw do you agree with this hadith or you don't? Actually, this is I have to say this is Sahih Hadith. Okay, so do you agree with it or uh, not? This I, is the question. Do you agree with it or not? Actually, I saw in a blog in Apple. Don't tell me I saw my friend. Just give me the answer. Do you agree with it or not? No, I have to disagree with. 
You have to disagree. Okay. But aren't you the one who said to me in the beginning that the Big Bang saying that the stars are created first and then the earth are created after? And then when yeah. we showed you that from the Quran, what you said, that some Muslims, they say that they are, it's talking about different earth. Where, where, where do you get this from, the different earth? Like matter, not different earth. The no, matter it says, all... you see, the Arabic is so clear. It says the mountains. It says, what, what are you talking about? I mean, what matter? It says he no, created is, the earth in two days. Okay, where Allah, he placed the mountains in this matter. The verse in the Quran no, says, I Allah, saw my friend, Allah, he placed mountains in the top of where? In the top of the earth or in the top of the matter? Earth. Okay, so what you are saying, it's a matter, not earth. That's why I'm saying that I have to disagree with this hadith and many Muslims disagree with this hadith. But this hadith is an agreement with this here. Okay, let me, let me ask you. So, Allah who created the earth first in the Quran and then the sky after. Doesn't matter what it is. Doesn't matter what you are saying. It says in Arabic here clearly, that Allah he made the mountains in the top of that earth and the word here in Arabic it says Ard so don't tell me matter Arabic is so okay. clear Allah he can use the, the word matter right yeah, yeah. he okay, can say okay. so if you read as, the Surah Anbiya verse 30 it says earth okay I believe okay in that verse it was talking about matter but in the next verse it is talking about the description ah, of the earth right? this verse is speaking about matter aha uh -huh. Okay, but here it and says, the next verse, okay, okay, so that matter have mountains did, in it. Didn't you listen to Zakir Naik? He also said hey brother, that. I die laughing at Zakir Naik every day. He is the most stupid idiot ever. What are you talking Zakir Naik Okay, then, yes, the, the, he's an official stupid. Zakir Naik, you do not know anything about Islam. Can you tell me how Zakir Naik explained this to me? Go ahead. Zakir Naik said that uh, in Big Bang, the matter and space all were joined together. Hmm. And something happened. This is the power of Allah. Yeah. And that's why he said that. Okay, but I ask you, but I ask you, hold on, hold on. You see, I will, I will go with Zach and Naik's stupidity. Aren't you the one who said to me that the stars are exist before the earth? Yes, this okay. is what the Big Bang So says. look, read with me carefully. The matter here is what is created is the matter, all right? In two days. Is that correct? Yeah. Okay. And Allah, he called it the earth. Yeah, this okay. is the description of the earth. How the matter is the earth? That's why I said that in Surah 21, Surah Ambiya, in that verse, verse 30, it was talking about matter. And verse 31, My friend, where it was is the word matter the here? It says that the earth and the heaven. Oh, doesn't say the, does it say the word matter or says the word earth? Does it earth, say? Earth. This no, it says same. earth. No, it says earth. Earth. Okay. Earth. So why are you lying saying this is it says matter? Because we have to interpret in the light of Big Bang. Ah, so now the holy book of Islam is the Big Bang and the Quran have to fit with the Big Bang. So we change the Quran to make it fit. But the verse is so clear in front of us. It says, وَجَعَلْنَا فِيهَا رَوَاسِي And then it says, read carefully with me. هُوَ الَّذِي خَلَقَ اللَّيْلَ وَالنَّهَارَ وَالشَّمْسَ وَالْقَمَرَ It is Allah who created them. I don't understand them. Arabic. Who? I don't understand Arabic. This I is not my business. This is not my business. Okay, let me ask you. According to the Quran, did Allah created the matter first or the stars first? The stars were included in the matters. Uh -huh. But the other verse saying the opposite. That's why I'm saying that in verse 30, the same word earth is using that is matter and verse 31 okay. is talking about. I want you to give me the name earth. of the idiot who says that the word earth means matter. Can you give me his name? The scholars, no, no, no. It doesn't say that the earth means okay. matter. So all the scholars yeah. agree <laughs> that this is the earth, this is nothing else. Okay, if you want to talk about the scholars of that Ibn Kathir or Zalalan, they did not have any concept of Big Bang. That's why they interpreted ah, the earth. So when the Big Bang come, we may try to make the make a Quran fit with the Big Bang. We forget about Ibn Kathir. Yeah. Okay. I mean, that's some... good. That's a good thing, by the way, because now Muslims they are changing their book. Their holy book became the Big Bang of the atheists. Now, let it me ask you. Change, okay. Big... So, but but the Big Bang doesn't say that God created anything. It says an explosion. So, does the Quran say there's an explosion, or the verse you are saying to me? It says that Allah separated them. Separated what? The earth and the heaven. What the heaven means? No, we we do not believe that 
the natural cause of Big Bang that something happened. Just we believe in the divine. No problem. That Allah but isn't it, isn't it saying isn't it saying that Allah He separated the earth and the heaven, correct or not? Yeah, yeah. Okay, is the earth separated from the heaven? You said to me, you are the one who said to me that the word earth means matter, correct? Yes. Okay, by the Big Bang. Okay, is, hold on, course. hold on. Everybody will die laughing at you. Is the big if the Big Bang is the matter which is explode? How it says that Allah separated the matter from the heavens? Is it the matter who became the is it the matter who became the heaven in the Big Bang? No, the if you what what is the Big Bang? Hold on, hold on. You see, you are very confused, kid. Let me ask you. Hold on, make it simple. Is it the Big Bang? Is based that the matter explode? There's a matter explode. Yeah, the explosion of okay. all so the when this matter explode, this matter stay that is, is it is it is it stay in the matter or it is became everything around us? No, from Big Bang everything came out. All right, but here it says that the earth and the heaven, and it says not only that, it says don't the disbelievers see, which means something they see with their eyes, not something happened in the past. Don't they see that Allah separated the earth from the heaven? Does it say that in the verse? Yeah. Okay. So how this is about the Big Bang, something we never saw. If he said, don't you see? The, yeah, don't you see? That doesn't mean that, uh, like, Allah he is was talking to the of, Arab. At the, at, he was talking to the Arab at the seven centuries, correct? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he how was they talking will, about How they will see that unless it is visual? Are you saying to me, Allah, he used the wrong word? How they will see... So, such a thing and this is poetic this is poetic in Quran it, it says that don't the disbelievers see that this is poetic hmm. this is what miracle of poetic the miracle of Allah what poetry I, I poetic. say to you don't you see I mean this is stupid if I say to you don't you see and that's something I cannot see that's stupid to say secondly it yeah, says here let, yeah, let me show you let, let me show you how stupid what you are saying my friend I feel sorry for you it says don't you see don't you see in Arabic it says Alam Yara. If we change the translator, you will see it says Alam Yara. Don't they see? So okay. he is saying to them, Don't you see? It's something they can see. Okay, okay. That's if the interpretation. Hold on, 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 hold on. Just wait, just wait. Uh, if you are saying to me the earth was the matter, it says here, Don't the unbelievers see? The heaven and the earth were joined together and between two brackets as a unit of one creation of a creation before we close yeah. ascender. Okay, let me ask you. So when this earth was a matter and this matter explode, that's mean the word earth does not exist no more. No, the earth did not exist at the time of Big Bang. So why is going at the earth? That's why I'm telling that in verse 30. Okay, let me ask you. Yeah, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Tell me, really, I mean, I'm just doing with you, honestly. I feel I want to jump from the sixth floor because of your stupidity. With my respect to you, but I have to say this is stupid. Because the Quran say earth, you say a matter. So we say goat, you say a chicken. The Quran use the word earth, you say I matter. I can't say that. No, no, hold on, hold on. Let, let me ask you. Okay. Now, Allah, he created, according to your theory, I will go with you. The stars first or the matters first? Stars. Before the matter? I thought the matter is the no, big bang. No. Oh, matter, yeah, matter. matter. Okay, matter. and the matter appear as the word earth. Do you agree? Yeah. Huh? Yeah, the matter is the word All earth. Right. So after. Okay, creation. what if I show you in different verse that Allah is saying that the first thing He created was the stars, before the matter. What you will do now? Are you going to jump from the top of the high mountain? Read carefully with me, chapter seventy nine, oh. verse number twenty seven. And what are ye more difficult to create? The heaven above, he has constructed, he left, he left it up, he make it high. And this is what it says, Rafa'a samkuha, uh, he left it up high. Because this is a fiction that the, the earth was, the, the sky was in the top of the earth, and then God, he left it up, and he put the mountains, it's called the mountain of Qaf. And if we go to chapter Qaf, we will see it, I will show you. Now here it says, so Allah, he created the heaven, and then he raised up the sky, raised it up where? In the top of the earth. Now then he says, 
وأغطش ليلها وأخرج ضحاها so now we have a day and night this is number three then he made and then after that not more over in Arabic it says والأرض بعد ذلك دحاها الأرض بعد ذلك دحاها what does that mean and the earth after that he made it flat so if the earth is the matter the matter was flattened after the heaven was totally created and then in this verse this is not matter this is earth ah okay no guys no problem it is not matter it's earth it's up to him he decide which earth issue is not but here we have a problem because that's mean that Allah he finished the stars first and the other verses saying the last thing Allah he finished it was the star Remember the verses we showed you before it says that Allah he created the trees He made the rivers and he made everything ready and he put the mountains in the top of the matter. You call it matter Huh? So the earth will not shake on you and then after that we see in this chapter that Allah He created the stars first which means in totally in totally opposite direction don't you see that Allah he created the matter I will go with you it's not the earth I see I'm, I'm agreeing with you now just to make you happy in two days and then he put things in the top of the matter in no, two no, days listen listen what Allah what is the mountain Allah he placed in the top of the matter in the four days explain to us you said the matter the matter is the big bang it says here it uh, uh, the, the the earth Allah he created in two days and then he placed mountains he made hills he put a trees all of those in four days do you agree that the trees exist before the skies exist no but this is what the verse saying so Allah created the earth you claim this is the matter and then he says in the top of the earth I made mountains and I clean all the substance which is the water the trees the grass etc this is talking about the creation of the earth are you an idiot or what you are the one who says to me this one is speaking about the matter you change your mind now no, actually only one verse it is talking about matter that which, which the big one? bang verse which one third. which one oh, surah Ambiya, verse 30. okay i will go with you guys this one is about the earth be my witness because later he will change his mind so chapter 41 here we go i will take a snapshot okay this chapter 41 it says that Allah he created the earth first and the stars at the end. Do you agree with it? But you are saying that in 79 Allah hold on, the hold stars on. Don't, don't go don't go don't, don't change don't change don't change don't change You are the one who said and I remember very well you said the stars are created first. Yes or no? Yeah, according to Big Bang. Yes, no problem, but this chapter in front of us chapter 41 verse number 9 10 11 12 saying that the order was as the following and you are the one who agreed now this this is not the matter this is the earth remember you are the one who agreed yes so the earth was yes, created yes. in two days and then mountains and grass and trees in four days and then he went yes. to heaven after that and then he made them seven heavens and then after that the last thing he created the stars but you are the one who says where is it that it says where is it you. that the last things it says in the where, front of your readers read it which verse Verse number 12. Okay, then he ordered in the seven heavens into this inspired. He decked the night heavens. Is this talking about stars? Yes, like lamps, 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 yes, lamps. Was I in the dunya bi masabiha? And we made we decorated the lowest heaven with lamps. Yo, then this is talking about the earth and then the stars yes. after the earth. Yes, thank you. But you said, you said that the truth is the stars was the first no, created. I did not read this creation account. That's why I read don't only. Don't tell me don't read. Now you, did, now you did read it. Now you did. And you did agree. And everybody heard you. That the correct thing yeah, is, yeah, is the Big Bang. Okay. I agreed that the so, stars were created first before. But this is saying the stars are created at the end. But this is saying the stars are created. I'm not saying that the, the Quran is saying that. The Quran is saying the stars is the last thing to be created according to chapter 41, verse number 12. So do you agree that this is a big mistake? 
actually you should debate dr zaki naik my friend i i can, my friend don't don't, yeah. don't make me use a bad word what zaki i'm asking you what's wrong with you are you saying to me that your brain is in the butt of zaki naik you cannot say one word without saying zaki zaki naik is a dumb idiot he do not know what he's talking about and i prove it many times can you give me the answer you should give me the answer no problem give me the answer according to zaki naik Okay, then according to then uh, we have to reject the Big Bang theory. Otherwise, Quran you have to, to reject the Big Bang theory. It was the Big Bang theory, correct? Now the Big Bang theory. After speaking to Christian Prince for fifteen minutes, it's a big mistake. Now, but this is not a problem. Now we have a bigger problem. We have a big problem because now, as long oh, you agree in that the Big Bang, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. As long you agree that the Big Bang is not there, forget about it. That's mean the earth is not the there's not that matter no more. The earth is an earth, and that's mean we go back now. We will find the other chapter saying the opposite. Because in the other chapter, this is chapter 41. In chapter 79, it says the opposite that Allah yes, created we'll first. Hold on. The chapter chapter 79, it says Allah created which one first? Listen, listen, I have to write down the verses 41, 12. Okay, now you can go to the next one. Okay, chapter seventy nine. You agreed. You agreed that the, the the Big Bang is a big joke. Now, okay, that's good. Now, seventy nine, okay. chapter seventy nine. Allah saying that Allah created the heaven first, and then He built this heaven, okay. seven heavens. He gave it order, night and day, and then He gave it the lights, which mean the lamps, etc. And then after that, He start working in the earth, and then after that, He created the trees and the water. And after that, he put the mountains. But this is totally different order from the other chapter in chapter 41. In chapter 41, it was the earth first, and then the trees, and then the, and the mountains, and the substance, and then the, the sky was a, was, was, was a smoke. And then after that, Allah, he created the lamps. Here, it says totally the opposite. The first Allah, he created the sky. He made the sky seven skies. He built it all, and he made he gave it the light, which means the lamps. He gave it its order, and then after that, we carefully. And after that, he spread the earth. He made it flat, and after that, he gave it water, and after that, he made the mountains. This is totally the opposite contradiction. He spread the earth. My friend, doesn't matter. The first one saying Say Allah finished the earth. No, it says that he made it flat. This is not, anyway, he, he spread, he made it flat. That will not change. But in Arabic, it says, well, Ardu ba da dalika da ha ha. Da ha ha means Zakir Naik said that this is ostrich egg shape. My friend, Zakir like Naik is a donkey. Do you want me to show you what da ha ha means from the dictionary? Da ha ha means, I do not believe. Da ha ha means spread. No, the ha ha does not mean an orchard og. This guy is a donkey. He copied that from a YouTube. A kid is is age is nineteen years old. He made that video, and then every donkey in the world start copying, including Zakir Naik. And let me get you get your Zakir Naik busted in two second. I will open an Islamic dictionary, and you will see that the word the ha ha mean flat. He made it flat. Okay, let me show you. Here we go. I will put it for you in the screen. Give me a second. I will open the dictionary, Islamic dictionary, not Christian dictionary. Yeah. And I will I will pause the word the ha ha. Here we go. And here we go. What the ha ha mean? Here we go. This is the dictionary. This is Al Ma'ani dictionary, which is an Islamic dictionary. Can you read what the dictionary is saying? The word of the Quran. It's a word from the Quran. Ma'anaha, he stretched it or he spread it. Do you see it? Yeah. Okay. And this is why all Islamic interpretation and translation, none of them says he make it like a like a ball, as like an egg saying to you, or like an egg. Did you ask yourself? None of the, tr the translator he did not say the word egg. Why? Why? Because Zakarnaik is a donkey. He copied a video from YouTube and he adopted and he start repeating the same thing. But the word the ha ha, we can go to Ibn Kathir right now. Do you want me to show you Ibn Kathir? Do you want me to show you Jalalain? No, no, I trust you. Okay. No, no, no I, don't I trust, trust me. You. Don't trust anyone, my friend. Don't trust anyone. Never trust anyone. Trust only the truth. Search for the truth. Don't be stupid. So you can search for it and you will find that this is absolutely a big fat lie. So Allah, he made this the earth flat. And Allah, he finished the heaven first. 
And after he finished all everything in the heaven, as we see in chapter 79, then he worked in the earth and he made it flat, as you see. After that, uh, do you know, do you see the word after? Even this Islamic translation saying after that. And here you see, he said, spread the earth. Do you see this is your translation? Do you see it? Yeah. Okay, why the Muslim did not say he made it egg, as Zakir Naik said? Because Zakir Naik thinks he's a scientist. No, like because Zakir Naik is, 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 a, is a diarrhea guy. He's a liar. He is not a scholar. He's a potato. He's making fun of you. He, he want to take your money. So Zachariah, sorry, Zachary Naik, he said this is an egg, and I can show you the video. Actually, the one who made this video is to refute me. He's a 19 years old old kid. He called me once. It's a kid who made that video. And then after that, all Muslims, they start copying and pasting the video because they are ignorant. No, not even a single one Arab in the world, you would agree that the word the haha mean egg, as you see. So the problem here now, that according to this chapter, chapter 79, Allah, he finished the sky, he complete the sky. So now we have day, we have night, we have the stars, we have dark, as you see. And then yeah. after that, he start working in the earth. And then after that, he put the mountains and he put the water. And so here, the, and, he, and then he made the, 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 the animals. But this is totally the opposite of the order appear in chapter 41. So which one of them is the accurate one? Obviously, Allah cannot be God because he cannot remember even which one he created first. Read carefully. Chapter 41, it says, Allah, he created the earth in two days. And then he put all the, the mountains in the top of it and the sustenance, which means water, trees, etc. And then after that, thumma, and then he turned to the heaven. And by the way, the word Thumma in Arabic, there's a guy, he is a Muslim teacher, he, he, he teach. You can search about the meaning of Thumma. Thumma in Arabic means after but long period goes, after long period. Thumma, and then after that, after a long period, he turned to the heaven and he, he it was a smoke, which means was was nothing. But this is totally oh, what it means your point is that in one surah, it is talking about first earth was created and the stars, but in another surah, Stars were created first and then the earth. Let me make it more simple for you. One chapter saying Allah created all the earth and the substance, the trees, the water, etc. first. And then the stars at the end. And that was a chapter, as you see, chapter 41. And then the other chapter saying the opposite. A chapter 79. Allah created first the, the, uh, uh, the sky. He finished all and everything in the sky, including the lamps, the seven skies, because Quran yeah. claimed there are seven skies. And after he finished everything in the sky, and he made the dark and the night, which means the sun, the day, the night, etc., for the earth, you know, and this is how it's supposed to be the creation of Allah. And then after that, he spread the earth. A Muslim might say to you, well, the earth was created before the heaven. This is what they will say, by the way. I, I can tell you from now what they will say. But this will be stupid too. Because what do you mean? How you can create the earth if there is no space for it? And the space is the heaven. Secondly, and after that, he spread the earth. Let us say the earth was exist, but Allah now, he start walking in the earth. But look what happened. According to this, the stars are finished before he start walking in anything in the earth. And the other verse saying that Allah finished all is in the earth, trees, mountains, etc., and then the sky was still a smoke. In the stars. But this is the opposite. My friend, this is can't be from God. You are smarter than this. Are you a fool who follows like a nag just because like a, you're like a chicken, follow your mommy, doesn't matter what who's your mommy, even if it's a cat. The chicken, when he's go 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 out from the from the uh, egg, anything walk around, he thinks this is his mo his mother. Anything, even if it's a cat will eat him. Are you going to do that? It's, isn't it obvious? After all the explanation for you, there's no way God will not remember which one he created first, the trees first or the stars. As simple as that. No. Actually, I did not think about this stuff. Okay, think now. You are an adult. You are not a kid. Isn't it clear for you? So why you want to stay as a Muslim? There's no way even the Quran says if this book is not from God, you will find a lot of contradiction. Yes. Okay. So Allah it says that. All right. 
So Allah, he gave us the, the, the correct way to find if this is a book from God. How this can be a book from God? God who don't remember which one he created first. Yeah, I have to think about that. You have some good points because this is, I cannot change in one night. Why not? We can change in one night. If if you discover that this is false and uh, this is a this is a false prophet, you change in one because night. Because I don't not? want to burn in hell. I mean, well, you are you burning in hell anyway. You are following a false prophet. We just to prove it to you. What's wrong with you? You are following a prophet. He he claimed that he have a god, yet he don't remember which one he created first, and it's in the front of your eyes. And even if you take it and you study it for the coming 10 years, they try to give you explanation, try to defend, but it will not work. It's it's obvious. You should leave Islam right now because you might go to sleep right now and you never wake up and you are following a false prophet. You are scaring me. I'm not scaring you. This is the, 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 the fact is it's scary, my friend. You are following a false prophet. And you okay, what if I leave Islam? I mean, I, I have to become an atheist. I mean, no, this no for me, I will invite you to be a Christian, but say, agree, I leave Islam, and I will be happy to explain to you the Bible. I have a Bible, but I do not read. This is not the problem. So now, let us uh, let us first true. agree to leave what is called. I don't want you to be Christian unless you are convinced too, because maybe Christians are not a true belief. You never know. So we want to we want to check it out one by one. So first. As long we reach an agreement, me and you, that obviously this is a real contradiction, cannot be from God. So Muhammad cannot be a prophet of God. So why you don't want to say I am I am out of Islam? Okay, I say, but what's okay. next? Okay, thank God, glory to the Lord. Here we go. Our friend here, Mr. Khan, he decided to leave Islam after all of this. You know, trying. He thought Islam is a wonderful. Islam is a great religion. It turned to be Islam is a false cult. Thank you, Mr. Khan. I'm I am happy for you. Now, I invite you to believe in the Messiah as Lord, as Savior. Do you want to know why? Why? Okay. Do you agree with me that the Messiah did nothing wrong? He's holy? Yes, I Do you agree that. that the Messiah, he can resurrect people from death? Yeah. Do you agree that the Messiah, he can create from the mud the bird? Yeah. Which means he's a creator? Okay. What is left a Messiah cannot do? If he can even tell you what you hide in your houses, and he is holy. Actually, I have very, very bad confusion that how can God die if you say. Well, who said, my, my friend, who said to you that God die? You see the flesh of every. Somebody. Okay, let me let, let, let me let me explain to you. Let's make you. When we say that Jesus died, we are talking about the flesh. Yes. Jesus said. You destroy this temple and I will build it for you in three days. He was talking about his body. The Jews, they thought he's talking about the temple. All right. So you destroy this temple and I will build it in three days. And the three days is symbolic for the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. So Jesus said, nobody can take myself. I lay down myself by myself. Nobody can take, nobody can force me. So when we say that Jesus died, this is the flesh. Otherwise, Jesus is exists before his birth. And actually, we were talking about it, right? We said Jesus is the word of God. So before he come in, in John chapter one, it says in the beginning, it was the word it, and the word was with God and the word was the God. So he is the God who was the word before he became a flesh of a man. So the flesh of the man have nothing to do with the existence of Jesus. Jesus said to the Jews before Abraham, I am. Was born, I am. Yeah, okay. I know that so first. They said to before him, they said to him, Well, how he how, are you like is this guy is crazy? How, how you are not even 50 years old and you say before Abraham? So, the existence of the Messiah have nothing to do with his birth. So, after birth, they killed what they killed the flesh of the birth, but the Messiah Their is body, in, yes, the correct. So, body. What, but the Messiah is existence, and you agree, right? He was exist before Abraham. Yeah, that's mean his existence have nothing to do still his exist. They just killed the flesh So they killed the flesh and the Messiah. He resurrected the flesh So Jesus the Messiah He is dead by the flesh, but he is living as a living God This is why he says you destroy this temple and I will build it for you in three days Yeah, and John 2 I also read that you destroy right. this temple. So what do you want more? We have a holy name powerful 
glor you know, everything glorify him. Nobody can speak against him. He taught amazing love, amazing wisdom. Go and read. Uh, it looked like you, you did read enough of, of the Bible. You have all the speeches of Jesus. We cannot compare it with the Quran. Quran is just a yeah, yeah. simple book. So why you want I to read accept the Jesus? whole gospel of John? I read that all right. just for information. So my friend, so why you will not accept Jesus? Do you believe in Isaiah 50? I know Isaiah 50 is talking about the coming Messiah. My friend, believe I, believe in every, I believe in every word in the Bible. This is not that, not, this is another question. I'm Jews, asking you. I'm asking you. Do you believe? What do you think about the Messiah? Yeah, I have to. I believed in the Messiah. And okay, do you now, believe that yeah, he is your Savior? You are the one who said to me that Isa means the Savior or the salvation. Yeah, Jesus means, Yeshua means okay, so the Savior. Okay, so why you will not accept now that the Messiah is your salvation so you can be saved? What to do? I have to go to church? I mean, I don't understand. My friend, just the, agree with me that he is a salvation and I will help you. We can talk in private later uh, uh, and we can go and details what you can do. Uh, you know, accept the Messiah as your Savior and your salvation and the only way to be saved and you will be saved, my friend. Okay, I accept. Hallelujah. Yes. Glory Save. to the Lord. Our brother Khan, he is not a Abdul no more. He is a Christian now and he accepted the Messiah as Lord, as Savior. And my friend Khan, I welcome you in the name Can of the Lord. Can Jesus save Muhammad? Because no. I, I... No, he, cannot, life no, he will not save because Muhammad, the Bible says, my friend, like the Bible him. says, the Bible says, and you know the Bible. Does it say in the Bible that the one, who is the one, the Antichrist, is the one who denied the Father? And the son, correct? So Muhammad denied the father and the son. And not only that, he caused millions and millions to be deceived. So Muhammad, there's no way for forgiveness. And not only that, the Bible says that the one who do insult the Holy Spirit, he will not be forgiven. And Muhammad, because of him, there's many people insulting today because of their ignorance, because of his teaching, the Holy Spirit. He claimed that the Holy Spirit is Jibreel. So Muhammad will not be forgiven. And it's too late to be forgiven anyway because you are dead. You see? It, it's possible that anyone is can be he forgiven. burning in hell. He is burning in hell and he will be in hell and he will be suffer as nobody ever for he deceived hundreds of millions. Hundreds of millions of people, they are deceived by this evil man. So my friend, I'm so happy for you that you accepted the Messiah as your, as your Lord, as your Savior. And uh, uh, I want you to invite more Muslims to call me and sit and watch and see what what they will come with and you will you will see islam is nothing but a fraud don't and this is my advice to you don't go by what christian prince says to you investigate everything you heard anything i said to you today is recorded download the video later check it one by one i am happy that you became a christian i'm happy that you left islam but still you have to be smart the, the, yeah i hear you almost Every day, every episodes. Wonderful. I hear you. That's why I decided to call you. Because Wonderful, my friend. I'm so happy that you called. Actually, I'm so happy that I called you again because something inside me, I was going to leave, actually. I hang up on you because I can't take it no more. But something inside me said, do it. I don't know what it is, but something forced me to call me back, call you back, even though I'm losing my patience, losing my voice. But thank, thank the, you know, thanks to the Lord that he made me call you and we have you saved. But I want you to stay with us, bring more Muslims, encourage them to call me, encourage the scholars, not only the Muslims, normal Muslims, encourage, challenge Zakir Naik, this guy who don't dare to get close to me, anyone who have knowledge to call me, live on air, and don't tell me what the topic, just call me, say Christian Prince, here we go, I'm a Muslim, I'm a Mohammedan, I'm going to beat you up, I'm going to show everybody that you know nothing. I, I welcome anyone to do it, and they will never win, for a very simple reason. If the Lord is with me, who could be against me? The Lord, he says, search the books, read the books, and find the truth, and the truth will set you free. And he said, I am the truth. I am the Alpha. I am the Omega. I am I am who I am. I am the life. I am the resurrection. Yeah, I, have to, I, I am the way. I am the door. Stay. And nobody can I'm go to the, the Father. Shepherd. Exactly. So my friend. I'm the good shepherd. I, my sheep here, exactly. my voice. Yeah, he is so good. He is so good. good. Am amazing. He is so good. I agree with you. He is so good. So beautiful. So my friend, Khan, uh, I am happy for you. Uh, keep watching us. Join us. And I think you can, you can do good 
uh, maybe later because you you learn a lot about Islam from what we said, and you have a, some background about the Bible that will make it uh, that make it easier for you to accept the Messiah. But that will give you advantage to bring more Muslims to Christ. So get the blessing of the Lord, my friend. Don't just be somebody who Pray became a Christian. Me. Bring more of the lost sheep to the to the Lord so they can be saved, because a happiness in the kingdom of the Lord, as the Bible says, will be right now, because one soul is saved and that is you. Look at those Christians, how happy for you! All of us, we are happy. I'm happy. I lost yes. my voice, but not 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 for nothing. I did not waste my time. It was a great time to have you, my brother Khan. Yeah, pray for me. I will. I will, my friend. And now I have to hang up on you. I apologize because really okay. I'm losing my voice. And uh, I'm really happy to have you. And I mean, you see, actually, you have too much patience. You actually you suffer a lot of insults, but you have a lot of patience my, and you have a lot of information. And you know Arabic. It is your plus point. So at the end of the this day, my friend. Thank you. At the end of the so day, my friend, it's a, it's about you know we are servants and we take insult for His glory. The Lord, he says, time will come and people will think by killing you, they are doing favor to God. So not only they will insult me, they will think about killing me if they can. But I understand I will be happy to die for his sake. And I'm not really, this is the last of my worry, insult or death. For we believe that whoever die and believe in the Messiah, he is alive. No death can take us and nobody can kill us because we will have the eternal life by his name. They can kill the flesh. But who said that we are not going to die anyway? All of us, we are walking dead. The, the Bible says, the Lord said, let the dead bury the dead. All of them, they are dead. Even the one who walked be, be, behind the coffin are dead. So dead, death will never make us fear. And that will never make me fear because I would die anyway. You scare me from what? <laughs> Nothing. I'm dead, I'm dead. But I will prefer to die believing in the truth. Being honest and yeah, free. I also have memorized fear him who can kill the body and soul in hell. In Matthew 10 28. Thank you. You have a I good have memory, actually. You have a very good memory. That's very good for you. So you can help later to bring more Muslims into Christ, my friend. That's very yeah. good. All pray right, for friend. me. Everybody. I will pray for you. I will ask all the Christians in front of you. All the Christians pray for our brother Khan. I don't know which country you are from. You don't need to tell. But pray for our brother Khan. Uh, uh, for for more guidance and maybe the Lord he will make him a disciple of his own so he will bring more Muslims to Christ maybe the Lord he chose yeah, I will him today. force my friends to call you they will be, become very angry I know but I will try to my call friend you. let the devil be angry the second you are making the devil angry that's mean you are doing good if the devil is not angry from you that's mean you are in the wrong place so it's a very good sign if you make the devil angry, it's not a bad sign. Actually, me myself, if, there's, if the devil is not angry from me, it's mean I'm wrong. I will not be happy. What's wrong with the devil? How come he is happy with me? So let the devil be unhappy. And this is what we are doing here. So Khan, I have to hang up on you and I will have to say thank you. May the Lord okay. bless you. And again, guys, I mm -hmm. ask every one of you to pray to our brother here, Khan, who called us to defend Islam and he end accepting the Messiah as savior the lord is amazing it is not me who made you christian it's no one it's the messiah who opened your eyes uh, they expose the lies of muhammad and uh, learn how to be tough on this cult and tough mean to be bold to say it as it is not as they want not politically correct. Being politically, politically correct is an illness, is a weakness. If somebody is hiding something, they've been forced to say something. So if you are a Christian, say things as it is. Yes, we love the Muslims. It doesn't mean we will let the Muslim die and go to hell. Loving the Muslims is saving the Muslims. It's not the opposite. 
So when somebody he says to you, uh, that you are being rude, this is not how a Christian should be speaking. A true Christian is the one who say things as it is, and that will make it truth for sure.